it's rise to the A to the N to the A. And if you're watching this, comment down, say hey. You ever had a dream that, 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 you, 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 you can don't, you can do and welcome back to my youtube channel so as you can see i'm posting back to back i'm going back to back but wait a minute if you are watching this video don't just comment hey like this video subscribe if you haven't yet and also follow me on my social media at armody stuff that's a l m o n d y dot stuff that's my instagram that's my chat my, my chat my snapchat whatever but anyways get into the video so these are the do's and don'ts in being in a relationship do get comfortable with your partner now i'm not saying fucking scratch your ass sniffing from your partner i'm saying be able to be yourself because if you can never be yourself you'll never be comfortable around them like if you can't like simple things like because I don't want to say that because every couple is different. Okay. Simple things like having sex delayed on or like eating in front of each other. Like you should be able to do that with your partner. Because if you are not, honestly, if you're not coming with your partner, you need to be with them. And if it's over a year, that that's sad. Do have a lot of sex. I don't know. It just lightens things up. You're in a bad mood? Just have sex. In a good mood, have sex. You're hungry, have sex. Three, do meet, no, do make sure that your guy has a great relationship with their mom. I'm telling you right now, if all my guys have ever been with or have a great relationship with their mom, I don't date anybody who has disrespect for their mother. They treat me. Because if a guy treats their mother like that, imagine he would treat you. Okay? sweetie honey like but let me say if these guys have a bad relationship with their mother everybody has has to have like some female in their life that they look to it could be a cousin a sister but it's someone who looks out for them and it all depends on how they treat them but in my case all the guys have been with had a mother so they got so i had to look at that and really be like uh, okay because Baby, boy, if you teach your mother like that, you're not treating me like that. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll smack you. <laughs> okay. Do cook for your man. Cook for your man, bro. Cook for him. Because if he leave this house horny, if he leave this house hungry, it's a motherfucking problem. See, my boyfriend just leave out the house like either one or two. Because one, he would never leave the house horny. But he might leave that shit hungry couple times because me i'm not the best cook and i'm not trying to kill my boyfriend like he know i can't cook i mean i can cook like certain things like i can't cook everything i can cook a little something something he could um i mean i can make some salmon i could make some shit some salmon i can make some sandwiches i can make breakfast i mean i can make some certain things but i can't make everything or whatever so i try to make a lot of i try but i can't so we eat a lot of takeout i'm not gonna be honest i know he's tired of shit sometimes i cook for him but i'm mostly cooking for him in the morning and i'm talking too bad <sighs> i mostly cook for my boyfriend in the morning now but when it comes to dinner, that's him. We have, like, a routine. Have a routine with your, with your guy. If you can't do something, you have to have a routine with him. Like, me and my boyfriend, we have a routine. You see that I cook in the morning, you and I clean. You cook at night, and I clean. Like, we have a routine. Like, me, I can't iron. Anyways, <laughs> do take care of yourself. I don't know how many times I'll go in that street, and i like, walk past a bunch of couples and i'm just like if that was my girl i would tell her something because i'm not trying to be like i'm like always on point because i'm not always on point like half the time i'm always in my uniform and i don't really got time to be getting dressed but when i get dressed up baby girl i look good these girls be out here with these dry ass dry ass weaves it be looking like it's just stiff. Like, you just put a magic on it and you just left it like a fucking mohawk in it here. Like, and then you got to never be walking around with her holding her hand. No, that looks nasty. I'm sorry. If you let your girl carry herself like that, how the hell do you carry yourself? Huh? 
I dare my boyfriend to walk out the house stinky, looking ugly on my watch. He don't even, when we go out, if I freaking got a hair misplaced, he be like, like, I understand, like, you love them, but love them, and you, you should be honest, you should be able to tell your partner the truth. I'm sorry, babe, you'll be looking kind of stiff. Like, don't know how, yo, you don't know how a couple with I see like that. I just be like, Either your friends don't love you or your nigga don't love you. But somebody don't love you. I don't care if you don't got no money. If you don't got no money, go bold. Because honestly, being broke is not... Just because you broke don't mean you got to look dusty. I Don't mean you got to look like you stink. Don't mean you can't take care of yourself because you're broke. I'm sorry. Just because you broke don't mean you can't take a shower. Steal some soap. <laughs> nah, please. But I'm talking about, like, I know that everybody has their struggle. So, I know that everybody has their struggles. I have my struggle, too. But, you know, funny shit, I can have $20 to my name. But I always make sure I have soap. I always make sure I change my toothbrushes. I always make sure, like, I do shit. Like, I can look ugly, but I smell good. I look ugly every fucking single day to go to work. But nobody can ever say I fucking stink. I, they can say... My hair look fucked up. They can say all that. But I always have a hair net on anyways. But I'm just saying. Like, I don't be out here in these streets looking mad dusty, crusty, and musty. Next. <laughs> don't sneak around. Don't cheat. Don't lie. Don't do shit you wouldn't want to be done to you. This just has to be, like, the number one thing and i hate saying this generation because i'm not gonna say it this is not this generation didn't make cheating this generation didn't come up with cheating this generation didn't create the word cheating or the meaning of cheating cheating has been going on for going on for generation 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 oh this generation this and this generation that like we're just a horrible generation mind you the people who raised us mm, let's let's get this clear the people who actually raised this generation you play a part in this too everybody's like this generation is this generation I. bro when i was younger or like even like years ago my mom was younger there's always gonna be hoes girls having babies like they're saying because it's our generation we're the worst generation we're supposed to be the millenn the millennials have you said that word the millennials or whatever it all starts from a root. The root is their parents. Parents before us, their parents, their parents. Like, it has to be a cycle of something. It's, they blame everything on us. Like, we do everything, baby girl, baby boy. No, we don't. We learn from you. Whatever, I could be wrong. I'm always wrong. Don't be too clingy. Like me. Me, I could have with it, wait with it. Because I could have with it. But um, don't be too clingy with your guy. Give him his space. But don't give that nigga too much space. He think he can do whatever he want. Because you have to make sure that he know. <gasps> Baby, I'm the one. It's for the guys right now. I see a lot of relationships. Cool to mind. That in the beginning. Is, oh my god. In the beginning is so magical. And sunflowers and bees and shit. That feeling when y'all first meet should never go away. Just because you got her doesn't mean you stop trying. That is the main problem, especially in my relationship or any relationship that I've ever been in or any relationship that I've seen. When you guys get a girl, like you go through all the trouble getting her, but when you got her, oh, you just stop trying. Oh, she's mine now. Oh, I don't got to try. No, still take your girls on dates. Still make her feel like she's beautiful show how to the world do unexpected shit i think surprising your girl and being romantic is like one of the cutest things ever because it lets them know that you're thinking about them and ladies we're not off the hook too do it too give your man unknown 20 dollars to get a motherfucking haircut if you see him looking dusty on um, babe you need to tape up shape up cape up put it in the tape up you need to do something but don't sit there and expect the man to do everything. Me and my boyfriend, we're 50 50. You don't got it, I got it. Like, I'm not, I'm not the type of woman to just be like, oh, you pay for everything. Because when we get an apartment, 
he even he be like, oh, I'm gonna pay for everything. No, we're gonna pay for everything. It's us. It's fifty fifty. It's not just you. Like, like he doesn't understand that he has me and I'm here. I do complain about money a lot. You know, I made a video crying because I didn't have no money. I, I'm, I'm still broke, but I'm still gonna be there for you. Doesn't matter. Like what I have to do, I'm there for you, and I want you to know that it's we're one. We're not one plus one. We're one. When you decided to be with me, you got with a real one. So just want to let you know that we're one. But I'm gonna end this video because I don't want to do any more long videos because that is not that is not good for me because I see that when you guys stop the video, it is probably no later than five minutes, and I'm tired of that. I know some of y'all watch the whole thing. Some of y'all don't watch the whole thing. Most of y'all don't watch the whole thing. So I'm not going to sit here and ramble on. But those are like some do's or don'ts of a relationship or whatever. It's just some real talk. Okay? I'm going to say this one more time. Make sure you like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button. And also, if you haven't yet, make sure you follow me on my Instagram. And thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for my next video. Bye!